Would you like to save a backup copy of your Excel files and manage the number of files that are saved automatically? Hi, this is Delisa of DJL Training, and I'm going to show you how you can use a macro to do just that. I'll provide you with the code, and I'm going to show you how to use it. In this folder, I have two files, DJL Training 01 and DJL Training 02. We're going to start with the 02 file, and as you can see by the file extension, the file is not macro enabled. On the notes sheet, there is a text box which contains the code as text. I also put, for your convenience, setup, testing, and application notes on this sheet. Well, let's copy the code from the text box so that we can paste it in the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to click in the text box and press Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy. We'll press Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. And I'm going to drag it over to this window for you. The code must be placed in the This Workbook object in the Visual Basic Editor. So double click on This Workbook and paste the code in the window. The purpose of the code is to create a backup files folder and a subfolder which will be named after the current file. When you close the file, the code is going to make a backup of the file, also count the number of backup files stored in that subfolder, and delete the oldest copy, leaving the number of files you wish to save. And you can edit this number on this line in the code where you see BKNO, that's for backup number. You can change this number to whatever you'd like it to be to save that number of files. For purposes of this video, I recently changed this number from 20 to 10. So I'm telling the code I want to save 10 backup copies of the file. Now, in order for the code to work, we must save the file as a macro enabled file. I'm going to close the Visual Basic Editor. The code is saved in the process. And now we're ready to save the file. In order for the code to work, however, the file must be saved as a macro enabled file. So in the Save As dialog box, we have to change the file type from Excel Workbook to Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. That changes the extension to XLSM. You'll need to do this step every time you copy the code to a non macro enabled file that you want to start backing up. The file has been saved. Now when we close the file, the macro is going to create a copy of the file in the appropriate backup folders. And you will observe a new copy of the DJL Training 02 file in this folder. So you see the backup files folder was created immediately, and this file, the XLSM file, is the macro file that we just saved by changing the file type. This file, the DJL Training 02 XLSX, is out of date. So I'm going to rename that one by putting an X in front. That's just my way of marking a file for deletion. I have a practice of putting an X in the front of a file name to indicate that I'm soon going to delete that file. Let's take a look at the backup files folder. As expected, the macro created a subfolder for DJL Training 02, and it contains the backup copy created by the macro. The backup file name is appended with the date and the time. Now, allow me to pause the video while I restore a folder created earlier for the DJL Training 01 macro enabled file. Okay, let's take a look. In the backup files folder, there are now two subfolders. I manually placed the DJL Training 01 folder here for training purposes, and in that folder, there are 14 files. I edited the date and timestamp to make it obvious that when I open up the 01 file and close it, another file will be created down here, but because the macro says I only want 10, the macro is going to delete the oldest five files, leaving 10 in the folder. Let's go open up the file so you can see that work. The 01 file is open in the Visual Basic window 
the backup number is set to 10. So let's close the file. Let's look inside the backup files folder and the DJL Training 01 folder where we find that we have 10 files, the 10 newest files. The five older files have been deleted. Click the links provided if you would like to download the files referenced in this video. DJL Training, increasing efficiency and productivity.